One of the ways one might be able to determine if there's a yeast, fungus, virus present in their body is the tongue. The tongue should be pink from the tip to the back. What is a virus? There are a few theories on a virus, but the fact is a virus can't survive by itself. It needs a host. And there is another microorganism that has a similar function, and that is yeast and fungus. They need a host. And so there are some trains of thought that are saying a virus, a yeast and a fungus, and maybe the same thing because they are so similar, they need a host. And they are also part of the microorganisms that act like uh, the scavengers. They're opportunist organisms. They will only survive where they get a lot of food. So what is the yeast and funguses, the virus's favorite food? Sugar and other yeasts. So to make sure that we are living in a body where these cannot really survive long or in a body where they are in their right proportion, it's important to give the body the right conditions for healing. We live in a self-healing, self-cleansing organism. And one of the most important things to clean is what you clean your house with, what you clean your clothes with, what you wash your dishes with, and that is water. It's very important to drink adequate water because when you drink adequate water, your body has the ingredients that it needs to fulfill its role of a self-cleansing, self-healing organism. One of the ways one might be able to determine if there's a yeast, fungus, virus present in their body is the tongue. The tongue should be pink from the tip to the back, but if they're a little white there's a white coating on the back of the tongue that cannot be scraped off. If you can scrape off the white coating, it is waste coming out of the tongue. If you cannot scrape off the white coating at the back of the tongue, they are little fungus buds. What are some of the symptoms that the yeast or fungus might be present in your body? Probably the most common symptoms are um, jock itch, athlete's foot, which is also called um, tinea, anal itch. Where does yeast, fungus, mould like to live in your house? In the dark, moist areas. Same with the body, between the toes, under the arm, in the groin, in those areas. Also even up in the sinus areas. And so to make sure that your body is able to deal with these and bring a proper balance back in the body, it is important to drink adequate water. It is important not to be taking the refined sugar. And if you do take sugar, it should be in the form of your natural sugars like honey, maple syrup, fruits, but in low amounts. The human body was designed to heal itself and it will heal itself when you give it the right conditions.